Now coming to action potential. It has five phases. Phase 0, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3 and phase 4. What is this phase 0? Phase 0 is depolarization. Phase 1 is rapid repolarization. And phase 2 is the plateau phase. Phase 3 is the final repolarization and resting membrane potential is the phase 4. What are the various changes which happens in each phases? Let us look at phase 0. Here there is sodium influx due to opening of voltage gated sodium channel that is phase 0. Coming to phase 1, which is called initial repolarization. Here, the sodium channel closes and the voltage gated potassium channel opens. So, there is rapid efflux of potassium. Phase 2 is a plateau phase. Here, the voltage gated calcium channel opens. The calcium comes in and the potassium outward is still continuous because the potassium channel is still open. And coming to phase 3, it is repolarization. Here, the voltage gated calcium channel closes and the slow voltage gated potassium channel is still open and potassium flux is still happening. And coming to the large phase 4 here it is a resting membrane potential and there is high potassium permeability these are all the various phases of action potential and what happens to individual channels and how the electrodes come and go out the slope of the phase 0 here this slope is the conduction velocity and the peak of phase 0 is the maximal velocity. There is an another terminology called the refractory period. Here you have absolute refractory period, effective refractory period, relative refractive period and super normal period. Let us look at individual refractive period. What is absolute refractive period? Here the ventricular cell is completely refractory. The cell is incapable of generating another action potential and the sodium channel are closed. Here, the cells are not excitable at all. This is the absolute refractive period. Now, let us look at effective refractive period. This is the effective refractive period. Here, the sodium channel begin to open or recover, the channels become available to carry inward current, the conducted action potential still cannot be generated. There is not enough inward current to generate an action potential. That is effective refractive period. Now coming to the relative refractive period. Here it begins at the end of effective refractive period to an almost fully repolarized membrane. Here more channels, sodium channels have recovered and in this refractive period they can generate an another action potential. Now coming to supernormal period, it begins when the membrane potential is less than 70 millivolts and continues until fully repolarized, the membrane is more excitable than normal, less inward current is required to generate an action potential, more sodium have recovered and the membrane is closer to threshold. These are all the various 